Hi. This is going to be Story Hour with the Canary Songs. This is the first time, and since it's so close to Easter, let's read an Easter story. Simon and the Easter Bunny by Adina Levy. Simon is a cat who loves holidays. On those days, he gets to eat yummy treats. On his birthday, he gets a piece of tasty Swiss cheese. Mm. At Thanksgiving, he gets a slice of savory turkey leg. Mm, don't those look good? At Christmas, he gets a sliver of scrumptious smoked ham. At the annual harvest festival, he gets a burger straight off the grill. Oh, those look so yummy. I could just eat them right off the page. With all of this great food, you would think that there wasn't a holiday he didn't like. But Simon doesn't like Easter. Chocolate bunnies and eggs make him sick. They make him really sick. Look there. However, a rabbit that ate chocolate and candy would taste so sweet and be easy to catch. So he thought. But despite pulling a big, heavy cart, he's pulling his heavy cart with the eggs. The Easter Bunny was very fast and very quiet. Every year, the Easter Bunny sneaks right up to, the, to a sleeping Simon, leaves the chocolate bunny, and disappears. There's a bunny right there. So how does one catch the Easter Bunny? Any ideas? Would a butterfly net work? No, he'd probably chew himself out. He's caught in a net. He couldn't escape a mouse trap, <laughs> but neither could Simon. I think Simon got his tail caught there in the mouse trap. Ouch, I think that hurt. An unpainted ostrich egg would keep him busy. But where would Simon find one of those? Maybe in a zoo? Big old huge eggs. Easter Bunny would paint it. A party with friends might help. Someone would catch him. But would they share? A tummy full of carrots would slow him down. But the carrot seller is locked. He's thinking that he has a sign there with free carrots. Then Easter money would just get so full and go to sleep. The more he thought about it, the worse his head ached. The only thing he didn't like about Easter was the yucky chocolate bunny. There had to be an easier way to stop that rabbit from giving him chocolate that wasn't so much work. Would a note work? Let's see. There's this note that he wrote. Chocolate bunny plus Simon equals a sick Simon. Think the Easter bunny can understand a letter like that? I think I have an idea, thought the Easter Bunny, after he'd read the letter. Easter morning, Simon woke to a surprise. Could it be? In a bowl was a fish, and not just any fish, but a rabbit fish. Did you know there was such thing as a rabbit fish?
Who would have thought all he had to do was ask? Now, him and the Easter Bunny are friends. See, sometimes talking with people is a lot better than, than trying to figure out a way to hurt that person. And then your conflict or the reason you're mad at that person can be resolved and you can be friends. Oh, and by the way, there's a lot of different foods in here that really cats really shouldn't eat. Remember, this is a book. And sometimes things that you can do in a book you can't do in real life. And that's one of those things is feed cats people food. You should really just feed them cat food. Well, have a nice Easter. Bless you. Bye.